Hi, I'm Linus, and this is my family's farm. And I'm Scarlett, and we grow corn. Come on, we'll show you. Corn is a grain that originated in Central America thousands of years ago. The plant we grow today has changed and improved from the grassy type plant long ago. Today, corn can be grown all over the world, except Antarctica. Here in the United States, there's a place where corn grows best. It's called the Corn Belt. It's a group of 12 states that produce the majority of country's corn. Look, there's Missouri. And there's our family's farm where we grow field corn. Hey, did you know that about 99% of corn grown in the United States is field corn? I did. We used field corn to feed our livestock or farm animals. It can also be turned into ethanol, which is a fuel for vehicles that is good for the environment and reduces air pollution. Some human food can be made from field corn too. Corn starch and corn oil are also used to make other things like plastic, medicine, crowns, and glue. You know what type of corn I love? Sweet corn! It makes up 1% of the corn grown in the United States. And it is picked when the kernels are sweet and juicy. It can be corn on the cob or corn in a can. Or frozen corn. Sweet corn is delicious and nutritious and grown for people to eat. You know it doesn't matter if you grow sweet corn or field corn. The seeds, like any other seeds, need three important things. Water, sun, and soil. Here in Missouri, corn is planted in the spring when the ground is warm. And the rain helps it to germinate and sprout up through the soil. And the nutrients in the soil help it to grow strong. Yeah, the seed is planted using technology and equipment. We use computers and tractors and planters to place the seeds in the soil at the best depth. If everything is right, it will germinate in about five to seven days. To germinate means the seed will open up and the tiny plant will emerge. During the summer months, the leaves will absorb heat from the sun and roots will take up nutrients and water. The green stalks and leaves will grow tall and then produce one to two ears of corn. Each ear has hundreds of silks connected to it. When pollen falls from the tassel at the top of the stalk into the silk, each hair will develop a kernel or seed inside the husk which covers the ear. Each ear can have up to 800 kernels. As the kernels dry in the heat and the plant turns brown, the farmer gets the combine ready. We use the combine to harvest the field in the fall. The combine is a big machine that separates the ear of corn from the stalk, and then remove the golden kernels from the red cob. When the hopper or holding place is full, it is unloaded into the grain cart or semi trucks. It can either be stored in big silver storage bins or sold. Hey Linus, did you know that farmers measure how big the crops are by a unit known as a bushel? A bushel weighs about 56 pounds, so it's like the size of a big dog food bag. We use math to figure out how many bushels are harvested from one acre. And did you know an acre is a little bit smaller than a football field? A farmer can plant about 30,000 corn seeds in one acre, and that's a lot of corn. Yes, it is, and we can use that corn in a variety of ways. Here in Missouri, we feed it to our livestock, like cattle, pigs, and chickens. We also take some of our corn to the ethanol plants. I like riding with Dad to drop the corn off there. That's where they grind the corn and make clean fuel for vehicles. Yes, and Missouri grows more corn than it needs to, so it's sold and exported or sent to other countries. Some of it travels by railroad cars, while others go by barge down the Mississippi to big cargo ships and out on the ocean so other people in the world can use it. 
No matter where our corn is grown or ends up, corn farmers like our family are working hard each day to make sure everyone has what they need. Yeah, all while taking care of the soil and water. Hey Scarlett, do you want to hear another corny joke? Why shouldn't you tell a secret on a farm? Why? Because the corn has ears. Oh, Linus. Thanks for visiting our farm today and letting us show you how we grow corn. <laughs>